The connection between the valve and actuator is through square shaft and square hole. Check up if the flange dimension of the valve matches with that of connection hole on the actuator. Check if the dimension and the distribution of the valve flange is matched with that of the holes on the actuator. Check up if the dimension of the valve stem is matched with that of the inner hole of the actuator's drawn head. To ensure the height which is from the valve flange to the stem surface is within the admitted dimension. To ensure the valve is closed. To ensure the mounting direction of the actuator before mounting it on valve. To use bolts to fasten the actuator with the valve. For the electric wiring on site, to select the cable which is appropriate with the cable inlet port, pull the cable through the port and then fasten the inlet wiring jacket nut. Dismantle the actuator's enclosure. Connect the actuator with the controller according to the attached electric schematic diagram. Due to the valve is closed while connecting the valve, for the time being, to adjust the cam of the closing direction, then press the micro switch on the closing direction until a crack sound is heard. Fasten the cam. After the valve is opened in a certain angle, to electrically close the valve in order to see if limit is in its place. At the same time, check the closed LED of the controller is on. Repeat the above steps until the closing limit is in its place. According to the plate on the actuator, manually operate the valve until it is fully open. To adjust open limit, to adjust the cam of opening direction, then press the micro switch on the open direction until a crack sound is heard. Fasten the cam. After the valve is closed in a certain angle, to electrically open the valve in order to see if limit is in its place. At the same time, check if the open LED of the controller is on. Repeat the above steps until open limit is in its place. Electrically make the valve to the fully closed position and check if the position indicator is on. Electrically make the valve to the fully open position and at the same time to check if the position indicator is on. Electrically make the valve to the closing position and screw the fasten nut and the opening block. Turn the green section of the opening block to the front, which is facing to the nameplate. Fasten the fasten nut. Check up if the O-ring is in good condition. Mount and fasten the enclosure on the actuator.
finally check if the opening block shows the same with the valve's direction to ensure there is clearance between the opening block and the opening cover. The end.